dear students i welcome all of you in the another session of topic engineering and management so up till the last session we have discussed about various kind of accident studies what is the particular cause of occurring an accident how it can be analyzed using statistical analysis example and we have learned about the precautionary measures now when we discuss about travel demand modeling you might have heard this term in the your mother subject of transportation engineering elective that is urban transportation planning in that you might have learned the module number 4 of travel demand modeling there are various top various topics involved in travel demand modeling such as regression analysis then detroit model fratar model model fermes model growth factor model so you you might have learned all those things that how the trip generation trip distribution modal split route assignment works now there is another thing that is very important which is relevant with this travel demand modeling or travel demand that is our next module that we are going to start so stay focus this is the module which is having the title of this and the title of the particular module is traffic system management now what we are going to cover in this session is we are going to cover the first part of traffic system management see we all know that in the modern society quick mobility is one of the most basic needs quick mobility means quick transportation movement of people and goods from one place to another among all the transportation facilities the most adaptive one is the automotive automotive means motorcycles or cars due to the provision of comfort and convenience what is this statement trying to say is that there are various kind of vehicles being available but majorly the one of the most focused uh, vehicle is automotive because much faster the transportation infrastructure lesser will be the congestion and it will create the higher order issue of traffic congestion at number of times that means if faster movement is there sometimes the traffic congestion can be lesser but on the important roads you might observe that faster is the transportation higher is the congestion because everyone wants to move fast everyone wants to take over trip so it will create several negative concern for both the environment and the society such as increase in number of traffic accident economic impact and high level of greenhouse emissions medium and long term solutions are available such as we can widen the road we can provide flyovers that is being provided in andabad city nowadays you might have observed there are total 3 or 4 flyovers which have been constructed in order to reduce the traffic but they are medium and long term solutions they are very costly because constructing the bypass constructing the flyover constructing the expressway is not very economic is not very uh, cheap choice in expensive choice so here we have to introduce a small solution also apart from the widening of road and construction to constructing new roads that is a part of medium and long run engineering solution and that is traffic system management it is very simple and inexpensive solution it is the package of short term measures see remember this it is the package of short term measures to make the most productive and cost effective use of the existing transportation facility services and modes means it is the package of short term measure that will have its focus towards the highest productive and effective use of the existing that means available transportation and it is the planning monitoring and controlling or influencing the traffic modes so basically what is traffic system management traffic system management is the 
package of short term measures which is having his major focus towards enhancing the existing transportation it maximizes the capacity of the street system and it also reduces the demand because they are the short term measures they are typically low in cost and that attempt to take the full advantage of the existing street means in going to the new construction rather than going for a new construction it is better to adopt this kind of small solution which are very cost effective and they attempt in getting the full advantage of the existing movement this particular spectrum is very wide see traffic system management is not a small thing it is very wide and it is categorized or it falls into six main categories first is called as regulatory techniques second is called as traffic control devices third is called as traffic segregation techniques fourth is called as demand management techniques fifth is called as bus priority techniques and last is called as self enforcing techniques regulatory techniques deals with the various kind of regulations traffic control devices deals with the placing and settlement of the signs signals and various kind of markings the traffic segregation deals with those kind of techniques which are used to segregate the traffic then these are the demand management techniques then bus priority techniques and self enforcing means self rule techniques see before learning anything we need to have the proper understanding that why we are learning that so this is the objective these are the objectives of learning traffic system management first is to reduce the number of accident then to ensure the smooth traffic movement then to maximize the effectiveness of the existing infrastructure then to improve the movement of goods and people to balance the modal split and modal choice and to minimize the clash between vehicles and pedestrians these are the important objectives and apart from that there is another objective that stands for controlling and managing the car park but most of all these are the most important objectives what is being involved in the part of objective first is to reduce the number of accident to ensure the smooth traffic flow then to maximize the effectiveness of the existing infrastructure to balance the modal split now you have learned what is modal split what is modal choice in your travel demand demand model in chapter of the urban transportation planning subject minimize the clash between vehicle and pedestrian and control and managing the car park so these are the objective then comes the next thing that is travel demand management see travel demand management is what travel demand management is concerned with the ways in which people make the optimal optimal means the best possible or effective use of locally available transportation resources with a strong focus on getting the people out of a single occupancy vehicle and into more efficient mode of commuting that means travel demand management is that kind of management which focuses on maximum utilization of the public transport and minimum utilization of the single occupancy vehicle so the efficient mode of commuting is majorly focused towards the public transportation unit in essence if you want to learn travel demand management balances it balances the people focused and infrastructure focused ways in which various problem such as traffic congestion infrastructure cost parking challenge environmental challenge all these things can be managed easily so basically what does tdm do tdm balances people focus and infrastructure focus ways two types of ways are there in which 
infrastructure cost, parking, traffic and environmental impact are reduced or managed. So it has become very hot topic in the recent years because this deals with all the major important concerns. Strategically, it functions on two major levels. Which are those two levels? The first level is at the surface and second level is at the ground or deeper level. If we discuss about the surface level, then at the surface level, it aims to provide various information, incentive, resources, support to the people who want to make the best possible use of the available transportation. So it is about providing various kind of resources to the people who want to maximum utilize the available transportation. And what does it include? So it includes public transit, then car pooling, you might have heard Uber pool or uh, what I can say, Uber pool is there, various kind of car pooling systems are there, ride sharing, walking, cycling. So this is all about surface level. Sometimes various conceptual models also include telecommuting as a TDM topic. Then if we go into the detail part of this, then on the deeper level, it is having a major concern with the urban design and municipal planning. See, that was the surface level, that is the deep, this is the deeper level. That in this level, various kind of key concepts such as workability indices, complete street, sustainability, urban liability, all these things are considered, taken into consideration. So, we have learned two levels, what is surface level and what is deeper level. These are the concepts which are the part of your masters. Then what is complete street, what is sustainability, urban liability, integrated management of key transportation corridor. All these things are the part of master series. So this is about TSM and TDM. We will continue in the next session. Thank you.